Hello everyone. Today I will be teaching you how to make a project using Grace. First of all, you will have to open the Composer Studio by double clicking on the icon. Then once the Code Composer Studio is open, you click on the file, then new CSS project. You can give any project name you want. Since this is my first project using Grace, I will say Grace first. Now you will have to select the variant of MSP430 that you are using. I will be using MSP430 G2553 for this tutorial. That is why I have selected MSP430 G2553 here. Now in the project templates and examples, you will have to select an empty Grace MSP430 project and then press finish. Now it will take some time to initialize depending upon the system. While it does that, uh, we will just wait. Uh, as you can see, the main the .cfg file is opened. Now on the right hand side, there is the outline tab. In the center, there is the main grace window which says grace msv430 welcome now we'll start by you know selecting the oscillator now since we want to generate one second delay in this project uh, we will want to select an external clock uh, of 32.768 kilohertz now you might be wondering why 32.768 kilohertz exactly uh, if you use our calculator to calculate 2, 2, 2, 2, the, 2 to the power 16 divided by 2 that, uh, that is 2 to the power 15 that will turn out to be 32.768 kilohertz and now once you have selected the 32 kilohertz crystal it will say that it, this requires an external crystal that is you will have to solder the 32 kilohertz crystal that came along with the launchpad kit onto the development board uh, else you can't use this a clock uh, now uh, we will configure this how much second delay do we want so in the uh, power user mode for the a clock uh, we'll have to have to decide the delay now oh, where is the delay one second nice. I forgot ah yes you can't find the delay in the clock system the oscillator you have to configure the timer for that right so we'll select the timer 0a module available in msp430 now I will just enable the timer 0 in my configuration now uh, you will get various options regarding timer A the basic working of timer A can be studied in the data sheet that is available for the MSP430G2XX series um, from Texas Instruments I will be giving a link in my blog to this now we will select the basic user <coughs> uh, in this dialog box uh, we'll select internal we'll select interval mode 
and uh, time period is thousand millisecond that is one second right uh, since we want to toggle the LEDs after one second we will just uh, enable the interrupt now what will this do is that uh, whenever uh, there is a overflow generated after one millisecond it will give an interrupt the processor will go to the timer a interrupt subroutine uh, the address of that routine i really don't know now because i'll be using grace for that and uh, you don't really know need to know the vector address for that if you are using grace uh, nonetheless if you want to know the vector address you'll have to refer the data sheet for that uh, now I, uh, in the power user mode you will see that it is configured in up mode the timer is one second so what it does is uh, it will operate the timer a in up mode up mode does is uh, it counts from 0 to uh, a certain value and uh, that value is uh, this, uh, mentioned in the ca timer capture compare register TACCR0 in our case uh, now the configuring part for timer is done we will configure the basic input output ports now uh, you can see the general purpose input output ports we will be using port 1 since the SMD LEDs are connected on the port 1 now you can see there is a pinout diagram uh, option pinout 40 uh, pinout 20 20 PI, uh, DIP dual inline package now in this package you can individually you can individually set the functionality of each and individual pin you want now we know that the SMD LED is connected on the P1.0 as well as uh, P1.6 so I'll be setting as P1.0 as output P1.6 as output right now I want only one of the LEDs to be on at a time so I'll go into the P1 register section now in the register section I'll just say for example turn on the uh, P1.0 LED uh, in the OUTX the register if you set it to 1 it will configure the port as high else it low the direction register DIRX if you configure this port flip flop as high then the port will be set as output else it is input by default and it is reset that is 0 uh, we don't want any interrupts from these ports right at least not for this program now we will handle the interrupt part now on the right hand side on the outline there is an interrupt vector section uh, select the timer 0 CCR 0 and uh, open the interrupt vector file now it will open the interrupt vector file interrupt vectors underscore init dot c now this is the vector address of the ISR that is whatever you will write in this function will be written in the ISR now what we want to write will be written in the middle portion of this user start and user code end if you write uh, your code anywhere else it will overlook the code and will rewrite it that is what is written at the beginning um, what we want to do is toggle the LED uh, right so we will use simple XOR operation XOR P1 out 
we want to toggle the LED so we will be toggling the output now if you XOR with 1 you get A XOR with 1 is A bar so using that concept I am giving the hex uh, let's say if you are comfortable with the not comfortable with hex values uh, we'll use bits bit 0 and bit uh, bit 0 and bit 6 since you know that uh, the SMD LEDs are connected to the P1.6 and P1.0 now this code will be executed each and every time there is an overflow that is after one second in our case now you just control s this save or here you can click here to save this now you will save the main configuration as well control s now it's saving right you can see the waiting symbol let it save do its job once the saving is done you have to debug it right now this was in CSS edit mode if you want you can switch over to the CSS debug perspective the perspective is like it will give you options related to the mode editing mode you mode, uh, you want options related to editing C++ you want uh, uh, functions related to C++ example functions and all uh, I'll show you uh, see there is a additional toolbar up uh, this is all for uh, checking your C++ code now we will be debugging this so we will click on the debug button uh, it will take some time for debugging uh, building all the required files uh, let it do that process as you can see at the bottom right hand side of the screen it's launching grace it's doing all that ah there are errors we'll have to see what errors are there in this uh, now uh, we'll use this uh, c++ node to identify the errors ah uh, you can't expect any silly mistake than this uh, we'll go into the interrupt file location and check it says that you have written p1 out 1 you have written p1 ou1 now that is rubbish right so we'll change it to p1 out uh, mistakes happen that is why they are given this error dialog box to build this it will build now we'll see oh, oh, oh there are so many errors errors encountered during linking uh, one second we'll build this again and see what is wrong uh, Init dot c identifier p1 out is unidentified. We will have to see that main dot config right. Uh, line 45. Uh, we have done this. What else? It cannot find the file it uh, encountered during linking. Project not build. Uh, what else is wrong in this? We'll see. I have to return this code. Interrupt. C1 out. Uh, this is pretty much correct. Timer 0 ISR. Interrupt routine. Now we'll check the main. What have we done? Okay. In the main program, uh, what have we done wrong? We'll see. It is. This is undefined. How can this be undefined? Uh, right. 
right uh, let's see line 45 and uh, how am i supposed to find a line in this uh, you get to know various things while giving an online tutorial right uh, okay unresolved symbol grace in it let's see output register is configured uh, I have uh, configured all that now what is left I have configured the uh, clock uh, e clock divide by one What else do we need to configure? Watchdog. Watchdog. Uh, we don't want the watchdog in our case. Watchdog has to be stopped. Uh, now, what else? Watchdog can be started by clearing the watchdog hold. Enable watchdog timer. No, I don't want to enable that. Uh, but then something is wrong, right? Uh, this is already stopped, so no problem. Now we will see the timer part again. Desired is 1000 millisecond. Capture register is 32767. This is the register I was talking about. So 32767 upon 32767 is 1. 1 hertz. 1 second. 1 upon T is frequency, right? Now we'll just go ahead and do this once more. What is wrong? Who knows what is wrong in this? Uh, maybe. Oh, so we uh, we. Apparently we solved the error, so now everything is working. Uh, this happens. Software goes mad very often. Now we we'll just debug, debug, right? So it is debugging, debugging. Uh, when if everything is all right, you'll get this window and. Uh, if, as you can see in the console loading complete that is there were no errors now if you want to check your program you can just hit this resume and on your launch pad you will see that the LEDs will be blinking after one second delay uh, that is that was our purpose right one second delay so that is what we have got I'll be uploading a video in which I'll show the LEDs those are blinking after one second delay just uh, just in case you know <laughs> if you don't know what I was uh, talking about you'll be able to see it visually so that will be all for now uh,